At the heart of what we're doing is capital preservation, aiming to provide investors with genuine protection and diversification in periods of market stress. Secondly, we're trying to do that whilst holding assets to avail of short and long-term opportunities in equity and bond markets. Whilst we might be relatively unexciting in the good times, we should still be able to deliver steady, positive returns. What's interesting is despite this fairly modest aim, the result has been equity-like returns, but with less volatility. Perhaps though of even more value to our investors is that our pattern of returns has come with a low correlation to other asset classes. The interesting thing here has been that whilst we've protected investor capital in all of the major market crises since our inception, some of our best years have come in the immediate aftermath. And really that's how our two objectives marry up. Preserving capital in a crisis presents a wealth of opportunity on the other side. We are regret minimizers rather than return maximizers. So what does that mean? Well, the way we think about risk is different to a lot of other investment managers. Market dangers and vulnerabilities really are the starting point of the discussion for us and are the insights around which the portfolio is constructed. That contrasts a conventional approach where most typically look at risk first and foremost as opportunity and then layer in protection or hedges as a secondary part. For us, the risk is the prospect of permanent capital loss. That is the starting point for the strategy and really informs everything that we do. We only think about capturing upside once that is covered off. We're also different in that the strategy is unconstrained. We are very much an own anything, go anywhere type of investor. We have a global multi-asset investment universe. This means we can make use of any assets that we deem necessary to achieve our objectives. Each major market drawdown over the past three decades, for example, has presented unique challenges. The assets you wanted to own as protection in each have varied and so flexibility has been key to our successful long-term track record. The last two crises have seen highly correlated falls in asset markets. To protect in that environment, uncorrelated protection was required. Our ability to be unconstrained has allowed us to add direct derivative hedging to address these risks where there's been no conventional alternative. 2022 was a good example of that. All conventional asset classes fell, but our portfolio delivered positive returns.